We've come to that point in our day where we're going to discuss the bane of all household challenges, and that is the clogged toilet. Okay. Now, the clog can be of various natures, but the effect can be either that just the toilet is backed up or that other drains in the house are actually spewing bilious gunk. And so what we're hoping for is that we just have a toilet clog. So <clears throat> let's go for it with the clog. Correct plunging technique. Place the cup in the bowl and go for it. Several short, sharp shocks and then a sudden pull away. You see that technique? Let me demonstrate that again. You might want to wear uh, fishing waders. That's good. You, know, you like to jump back in case the clog suddenly spews forth. Okay. Now, if that didn't do the trick, we've got something else up our sleeve. Hopefully not up our sleeve, really, because it's not something you want to store up your sleeve. I'm going to put my plunger aside. This is what plumbers live for. Wait a second. You got to get the action. Huh? It's a rawhide thing. Okay, this is known as a plumber's snake. Always wear rubber gloves. Now what we're going to do... is feed this baby down around the corner. This is tricky, and you really have to fish for it. And you might want to prepare to be here for a while. Because <laughs> it has to turn a rather sharp corner. Kind of like a difficult birth. Oh, there we go. You see, but I had to put my glove right in under that little lip and push the thing up. Very romantic, really. Not as romantic as a toilet clog, actually. So here I go, and I'm going to keep feeding it around that tricky corner. Because it has to, it kind of has to go through an S curve. There we go. Come on, work with me here. Okay, I got it a bit further. You know, the nice thing about working in a toilet is that your voice becomes very resonant. It's a good time to practice a little song. <laughs> Rubber ducky, you're the one. Something thematic I think is appropriate. Okay, this is going nowhere fast, so I'm going to actually start over, and oh, there we go, up it goes, sometimes it's fun just to keep your family guessing, come into the toilet, uh, to the bathroom, and, and just make these kind of sounds, okay. When you hit the clog, which will be um, noticeable because suddenly the auger won't go any further, stop, pull yourself out of the toilet bowl. Now, this is um, a crank mechanism that makes the whole wire spin, so it'll start to break up the clog. You can, you can hear it whipping. Eventually, the clog will break up, and it you can either pull the clog back into the toilet or push it clear um, through down into the drain. If at any point the clog pulls back on the auger, run screaming from your home. <laughs> Get to the nearest payphone and call the X-Files, really, because you're in deep trouble. Oh, and don't put this away wet. I'll be putting this out on the lawn to dry out now. Clogs just don't have any place being in your toilet bowl. Neither, of course, do hairbrushes, Q-tips, or your favorite romance novel. Now, 
don't panic when mishaps occur. Simply place paper towels between each of the wet pages. Then place something heavy on the book and let it sit overnight. For a repair to remember, I'm Meg Ruffman. Can you just, don't mind me, just, ooh, we've been working out. <laughs>